Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Box Me Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. It's always good to be back. All right, we got a big one for you today. Uh, after Devin Haney just got destroyed by Ryan Garcia, and Ryan Garcia shocked the boxing world and blew up my lock of the week and blew up everything that was not cool. But congrats to Ryan Garcia. Let's get into this week. Uh, first week, let's restart this week after uh, Devin Haney got destroyed and Ryan Garcia. Uh, Destroyed everyone's locks and bets, and that was just not good. Uh, but let's get into this week. Canelo Alvarez, Jaime Mungi is what we're going to kick it off with. I know that's not till next week, but DraftKings is totally bugging. I always use DraftKings. Um, so if you have a problem, um, I don't know. But we're going to start now. We're going to start now with Canelo and McGee. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Join the Patreon below. The Patreon is just $5 a month. You get the lock of the week. You get all types of perks. You get Ask the Bookie Anything. Ask me to handicap a fight. Ask me to do a video. I'll do it all for you. Uh, you know, There's also a free t-shirt involved. The link is... And we're going to start a Discord, too. We need to get that going. We're going to start a Discord so we can communicate and talk about fights and just... Talk boxing in general. Also, I want to know: Do you guys want me just to, to, to set up streams, do live streams, just to talk about the, the, the news and boxing? Let me know, and I can do that. Uh, but let's before we do that uh, again, join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month to get all those perks, help support the cause, get the lock of the week, get rich betting on boxing. Also, uh, YouTube Texas Boxing Scene. Follow Texas Boxing Scene on all four. Uh, Follow Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, guys, let's <clears throat> let's get into this fight. Canelo Alvarez, Jaime Munguia, two fighters we know exceptionally well, two fun Mexican fighters. Um, it's going to be a ton of fun. It's going to be a good fight. Um, let's get into it. Canelo is a patient power boxer. He is what he is. He is relentless. He's relentlessly. He comes forward. He's responsible defensively. He's, he moves his head. He can slip his way in, and he gets inside, and he just beats you up. He hits you to the body, hits you to the arms, make you drop your arms. Then he hits you in the chin. He's really good at what he does, which is power boxing. Um, good head movement, like I said, slips and slides really well. For a guy that's not uber, uber hyper athletic, but he is very strong, You know, very good base, good power. He's strong as an ox. And he hits hard, and he's got adorable chin, and he's he's developed his skill set. He's become the quintessential power boxer. Come forward, you know it's not a pure pure Mexican style, but but it's close. Um, it's, it's he he's got skills. He's he's fundamentally really good. He's got a lot of quirks, a lot of intricacies that I'm not going to get into for the sake of time. That he does really well. That he can get in and he can land. You know he sets his shots up. And picks his shots really well. Has he faded? Has he aged? Is the question. You know, he's uh, what is he, 34, 35 now? He's been in a, a, a ton of fights, a ton of he's 33. He's only 33. Uh, he's been in a ton of big fights. He's fought 60. This will be his 65th fight. Um, and he's been in some wars, and he's been in some really good fights, and it's 65. So is he on his way out now? Is he? He's obviously not you know, in his prime. He's on the downswing. How much is that going to affect him? How much is, is left, right? But he still does so many things well. Excellent left hook. I still think that's his best shot. That his best punch. That in his jab. He blocks and picks off shots well. He, he's a great. He applies pressure. He cuts off the ring. He stays on you, and he hurts you, and you can't get away from him. And he can land, and he can set things up with the jab. Uh, he just he's an intimidating foe. Like he really is. And he's got excellent skills. He's excellent at cutting off the ring. He mixes up his head and body shots as well as anyone in the sport. He throws hard commit committed shots. He commits to his shots and he makes them count. He closes distances really well, like we said. Is a lot to deal with. Jaime Magia is a blunt object. He's better, he's improved, but Jaime Magia is a blunt object. He's not as versatile. He's not as athletic. He, he's not skilled. He leaves himself wide open to be hit. And I like Jaime Magia. He's come a long way in developing who he is. But who he is is still very limited. Uh, big, strong frame. Come forward. Front foot fighter. Good power. Uh, movement has gotten better. 
He's still his head is still as stationary as can be. He's easy to hit, slow, just plotting guy. Uh, he poor movement, right? Like he doesn't move well. There's not a bunch of fluidity to him. He's gotten more fluid, but he's still slow, right? Like he's just slow and flat footed. He doesn't. His movement, his footwork. He's, he's been coached up and he's improved in those aspects, but he like the bottom line is he's still slow and easy to hit. Like he's slow and his head is on a line and he's just easy to tag. He leaves himself wide open in exchanges and it's just, he's gonna have success in spots to degree. He's gonna land shots. He's gonna, you know, he may even hurt Canelo at time, but ultimately, like he's gonna get broken down. He's gonna get hit too much. He's gonna have some spots. He throws everything hard, right? Good volume. He's going to try to win rounds of a volume, but he's going to eat shots. I think ultimately the question becomes these improvements are going to make him competitive to a degree in the fight. Can he go the distance? Or is he going to get stopped? Yo, Canelo typically stops. He can't execute like Bavol did. His jab's not as good. His movement's not as good. His lateral movement's not as good. His head movement's not. He's just, he's not, the speed's not, he just, he can't execute like Bavol did. So he's not going to be able to keep Canelo off him. Canelo's going to get in and break him down. But McGee is tough as hell. He's rugged. Can he go the distance really becomes the question. Canelo's going to win the fight. Okay. Canelo is going to win the fight. So, this is what we're going to do. Easy money. Minus 600. Canelo Alvarez uh, makes you 1666 on her. i bet he's minus 600. That's just going to, that's easy money. We're going to take that 1666 and we're going to take that and we're going to put a $50 bet on Canelo Alvarez to win by stoppage. If Canelo wins by stoppage, we make. That that's paying plus one seventy five. So that's making us eighty seven fifty. And I do think he's gonna win by stoppage. So if we hit on this, we make eighty seven fifty plus sixteen. We're making one hundred and four dollars, one hundred five dollars um, on a hundred fifty dollar bet, which is pretty good uh, for Canelo to win by stoppage. Um, if we lose, we've kind of hedged our bet. We've only lost thirty three dollars. Okay, so the downside is $33. The upside is 105 ish right? It's good odds. Because Canelo's going to win a fight. So it's just a matter of does it go the distance? Who wins? What what we got? Canelo, the over. Um, I mean, Canelo, by stoppage. I, I do think Canelo stops him. I, I think McGee just gets hit too hard. It's either going to be a mercy stoppage. He's going to swallow him up. He's going to. He's going to get him out. I do think I do think he gets him out late. I think the over-under is an interesting bet. I'm going to stay away from it, but I like Canelo. I like uh, – and then half a bet, half of your normal bet, you take your winning from Canelo winning, put that towards Canelo winning by stoppage. When Canelo wins by stoppage, we're going to clean up on both, but it's, it's a nice little hedge to have. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also below in that banner. Uh, $5 a month gets you all the perks. The Lock of the Week, the free t-shirt. It gets you everything. Just $5 a month. A ton of perks. Ask me anything. Uh, have me do a video for you. Request it. Uh, it is... April 22nd, uh, from, it's April 22nd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.